Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to another video. So today's video, I wanted to do my first ever vlog on YouTube. So just more of informal sort of everything that happens in my life. So at the moment, I'm actually off work before Christmas. I've got quite a lot of time off. So I thought it would be a nice time to start my first vlog when I've got more physical time to do the homemaking. Murphy's licking my arm. <laughs> Look. Oh, we stopped. Okay, doesn't matter. Forget that. Yeah, I just wanted to take you through my day a little bit more of homemaking and what I get up to. At the moment where I live, we are in lockdown again. So I can't do certain things. We're not allowed to even drive anywhere for walks. So it's quite tight restrictions. So it's gonna be more of a homey vlog. And then I think I might take this little pudding out for a walk as well later, um, if the weather's okay. But for the first section of this vlog, I actually wanted to show you how I've been using heated rollers in my hair so someone on my Instagram he's licking my arm again <laughs> someone on my Instagram asked for a tutorial but I've actually been following tutorials myself on YouTube so I don't want to basically copy what someone else has done and probably do it worse because I'm not the best at hair so I'm gonna link below the tutorial I've been following um, but essentially I use these heated rollers let me just be careful because they're heating up now um, this pack of rollers from um, Revolution it is um, I always want to say Revlon but it's Revolution it's got eight medium and 12 large ones so i sort of section my hair into three one top section and two side sections i roll my middle section back towards my head and then these sections i just roll up so i'm going to show you a little time lapse of me doing it i hope you can sort of see what i'm doing i do seem to go to bits for some reason when i'm filming myself do something it's like i just forget how to use my hands <laughs> so i'm hoping this is going to go okay um but i will link that tutorial as well so normally I will put my curlers in first thing in the morning do my makeup and my morning routine while they're in and then by the time I finish doing all that I'll let them down and that's how they basically take no extra time on top of my morning routine today is a little bit different because I had a bit of a lazy morning lion that you might have seen cuddling Murphy in bed um, so I had a lazy morning and then I also knew I wanted to film this vlog as well. I wanted it to be like a little section. So that's why my routine is a little bit messed up today. But I'm not going to talk for much longer. I'm just going to get these rollers in my hair because they are clicking away at me, telling me they are ready to be put in. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to use some heat protectant and just make sure it's all in my hair so I don't get too much damage, especially since I'm doing this pretty much every day at the moment. And then I'm just gonna start sectioning the middle of my hair. And now we're ready for the first roller. So I'm gonna show you how I do this one and then we're just gonna do a time lapse. So actually I just need to adjust the camera so you can actually see. So I've moved you right up because my hair's quite long, apart from these front bits. So I need it to be far away for you to see. So I'll just hold my hair up like this I'll get the roller, put it in from the back, and then sort of roll the end around it. Roll it up my hair, making it as tight as I possibly can. And then I'll just get this little clip. Let me just look in the mirror. Clip it in, and then that's the first one done. Okay, so that is the middle section of my hair all in rollers. I'm dreading editing this footage and seeing my concentration faces. I doubt they're very attractive, but hey ho. So that is the first section done and now I'm gonna move on. Murphy, don't growl. Um, and now I'm gonna move on to the sides. After a sip of my tea. So 
So that's all the big curlers use now. So now I have to use onto these little ones. So I make sure all the top sections of my hair are used with the big ones because that's what adds the volume. And then these tighter ones sort of add the more tighter curls. So I'm going to put them all in now in the bottom layer and then we should be ready to leave it to set. Okay, so that's all my curlers in now. So usually I'll leave it for about half an hour while I do my makeup, get dressed, make my bed, all of that malarkey. Um, so I'm just gonna relax now with these in for half an hour and then I'll take it down and show you how I set the curls and style them. So yes, looking very glamorous. <laughs> Okay, so my curls are now set. The rollers are physically cold to touch, so that's how you know they're ready to be taken out. Don't take them out if they're too hot still because the curls will just drop instantly. So I'm gonna let them all out now. Then all I do is give it a little brush. Um, I spray it with some hairspray. I don't put too much of hairspray in. Some people spray each strand as they take it out, but I hate the feeling of too much hairspray in my hair, so I just give it a once over once it's all done. Um, so that's kind of it really. And then if any of the curls are too tight for me or it's too like curly around my face, I'll just smooth it out with my hands and then maybe use a little bit of smoothing cream that I can't find right now, where have I put it? Yeah, so this is the smoothing cream I use. It's the El Aviv No Haircut Cream and I'll just use that on any bits that go too curly. So I'm gonna get on and do this now and finish off my hair. Okay, so this is the finished hair. As you can see, it adds loads of volume, so much, and it has nice, thick, sort of Hollywood-esque curls. And in the past, I'd always have to do like really tight curls to get them to stick, but because they cool down in your hair, they hold the curl a lot longer. And this hairspray is the best as well for holding it. So if you can get your hands on this, then give it a try because it's really good. So this is kind of how my hair will turn out and then it will drop sort of throughout the day, but not as much as it would have done if I was to use a normal curler. So that is the finished product. Okay, so I'm gonna have some breakfast now. So I'm gonna have a slice of this flapjack. I'm not eating healthy at all at the moment. It's a couple of days before Christmas, so I'm kind of just letting loose. So I made this a flapjack yesterday. It's so easy to make. It's literally just oats, butter, brown sugar and golden syrup and you just mix it all together and bake it. I, um, I'll i link the recipe below but I actually half the sugar because it's just way too sweet and I have a sweet tooth so that's saying something. So I'm going to have a slice of this now with a cup of tea and then I think I'm going to take Murphy for a walk. Before I go out for my walk, I've got all this laundry to organise. So that is yesterday's dry washing. So I need to fold and put that away. And then this needs to be hung up now.
Okay, so this is all the piles done. So this is just miscellaneous. This is Murphy's towel and then a tea towel. Then we have our bathroom towels and then this is Paul's pile. For my pile, I just put it straight away. I don't even fold it, I just hang it up. If you see me laughing in that clip, it's because Paul was making me laugh behind the camera, so. I wasn't just giggling to myself like a strange human. <laughs> so we have a slight change of plan. Before going on the walk with Murphy, I'm gonna clean up our kitchen. We have um, a slight leak in our sink. So we're having a plumber come around, and have a look at it in a couple of hours. So I just wanna make sure the kitchen is all tidy and everything put away and clean in the sink for him to have a look at it. So I'm gonna do that now and then possibly take Murphy out for a walk afterwards. Okay, so that's my kitchen all clean now and the sink is smelling a lot better. This is where our leak is coming through. It's just dropping water under the sink like this. We've got a little Tupperware thing catching it for the moment. But that is the kitchen looking spick and span, minus my elbow grease on the side. <laughs> Much better. Ready for walkies? Do you wanna go walkies?
Mafika. Come on. On the tree, you're stuck. <laughs> no, don't follow me, you worry. Wait, come. Go this way. <laughs> Mom, stop following me. Right. Hold on, let's go. We have a new sink. I'm really happy with it, it looks really good. So he just had to replace the whole sink. There was a little leak that was coming down here um, and it practically needed a whole new thing. But I'm really happy with it because I didn't really like our square tap. So this looks loads better. I've just realized, I think I was saying we've got a new sink. We haven't, we've got a new tap. <laughs> so there we go. So Paul is working in the other room so I'm going to try and vlog a little clip but keep a very very quiet voice. I just wanted to say that I feel like a bit of a liar in today's vlog because my curls have dropped out quite a lot. The volume has stayed but the curls have just gone a little bit dodgy. I think it's because it was quite wet on our walk and it was spitting with rain when we came in. And also this is third day hair, so I think there's just a bit too much product in it and it's probably a bit too heavy. So I would say that my heated rollers are amazing for day one and two and then maybe day three they fall out a little bit easier. So I was going to film a little bit of a sewing portion of this vlog. I have recently got into sewing, I'm very very new to it, I only got my machine two weeks ago, I did a few lessons in school but I don't really remember anything from it and I wasn't very good at it in school um, but I just wanted to learn the basics basically so yesterday I made my first ever project which was a cushion cover so I was going to do the same thing today in today's vlog because I do have another cushion that needs covering but after the walk and the whole fiasco with replacing the tap and the plumber being round, I just want to relax and put my feet up and watch some Netflix. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have a cosy afternoon. Well, sort of even and now it's already going dark. So I'm going to make another cup of tea, put my feet up and cuddle Murphy and watch some Netflix. He is feeling sorry for himself because I think he stood on a nettle. So he's been licking his paw load. So hopefully... He feels better in a couple of hours. He's literally just staring at me right now. <laughs> literally just sat on the end of the bed staring at me. Right, Bobby? <laughs> Bless him. So, yeah, I'm going to find something to watch on Netflix now and relax and not worry about the vlog for a couple of hours. So, I just thought I'd quickly show you the cushion cover I made. So, this is what it looks like. It doesn't actually look too bad on camera but just the seams like they're a little bit wonky and kind of falling apart. <laughs> but apart from that from a distance I think it's a good first try. So this is the machine I have. I got this for my birthday and then I got some good sewing scissors, fabric scissors, one of these little sets and then I just bought myself some of these pins to make it easier. So this is where I normally actually work. Um, but I've turned it into a little crafting station for while I'm not working over the Christmas break. 
Hi everyone, so it's now Boxing Day. I finished this vlog, I think it was like two or three days ago and realised that in the afternoon I kind of just flopped and didn't film an outro clip so it kind of just ends. So I just wanted to hop on to end the video but also to say I hope you all had a very happy Christmas despite everything that's happened this year and that you still managed to have a good time. Please let me know if you did enjoy this sort of vlog style of video. I have really, really enjoyed filming it and I've already edited everything apart from this clip that I'm doing right now and I really enjoyed editing it as well and how it turned out and I just think it's a really nice way for me as well to capture some memories so let me know if you did enjoy it but even if no one really enjoys it and it's not like a popular video I think I still will film them <laughs> just because it's something that I personally really enjoy so I hope you all had a lovely lovely Christmas I will be uploading this before New Year as well so I hope you all managed to have a lovely new year's eve and that 2021 is looking much better for the whole world <laughs> and everyone just yeah it's all up from here hopefully fingers crossed so i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you like these style of videos about femininity homemaking and simple living so do subscribe if you are interested in those topics and i will see you again soon for another video